Uh, this is a Johnson Viking Valiant. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot as far as demonstrating it is concerned. Um, the how to tune it up is basically in the manual. If you're not experienced with um, vintage gear, this should not be something you should own. You are hearing uh, some noise from 80 meters. I'm just going to turn it on and show you that it does modulate. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, test. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. And as you can hear, my receiver, I got to clean the uh, AF control because it has a little dirt in it. Um, but it shows you that it works. Um, works in the CW position too, but I don't have a key hooked. I have a key, but I just don't have it hooked up right now. Um, let me put this in the modulating section and I'll test it again. Hello, test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, K1, O, I, K, testing. And so it has, it does have CW and it does have sideband. Uh, to operate sideband, well, actually, it's a little bit strange, different form of sideband. If you want to operate sideband, you have to tilt the transmitter on its side because then it would be a side band. So if you twist it this way, if you twist it this way, that's upper side band. And if you twist it that way, it's lower side band. Um, <coughs> and if you want to use it on Morse code, uh, you can. You can, You need a key, and you can get. You can either get your car keys. That might work. But actually, one of these might work a little bit better in transmitting. So, um, <clears throat> when you have a rig like this, you do have to know how to tune it up. There are many different controls. Um, the coupling controls, uh, you, you, they, they work back and forth with dipping the final into resonance right here. Uh, the drive is for a grid drive, and you, everything is pretty well metered. And you have a zero button. Let me see if I can, oh, it already is on zero. Um, you can barely hear it on the receiver when I turn it across. Um, let me turn the volume down on this thing driving me nuts. Anyway, Johnson Viking Valiant. Um, and um, I'm getting a K7DYY rig, which will be about 4,000 pounds lighter. And um, that seems like it would be be a little bit better. So if I put it in the CW position, um, oh, I better take, it won't get any modulation in the CW position. So you dip the final. Let me do that. Dip the final. And um, you could raise, you raise, you could raise it up like this. But I'm not going to do that because it's pretty well tuned up. It's pretty well tuned up right now. 